Hi everybody, it's Aaron Rainin with DV Workshops and we're going to talk about Multicam now as quick as I can, show you the overview of how to use it. Step one, import your clips. I've imported three different camera angles we shot uh, during one of our workshops here in Los Angeles. Uh, the best audio is on this camera angle and I'm going to talk about how I can target just that audio but cut all the pictures to that audio. Step one, enter metadata. What does that mean? You have to give each camera a specific name or number. We're going to use numbers because when I enter number one for this clip and number two for this clip in the metadata, it'll allow me to actually use the numbers one, two, and three on the keyboard to switch between them. Step one, select the clip. Go over here to the inspector. You should all know about this inspector right here. Generally it pops up, you'll probably be on the video tab. I want you to move over to info. That's where all the metadata is stored. Metadata is just a, a file of information that accompanies every clip. And so I'm going to scroll down here because I want to change the camera angle. And you'll notice here, as I scroll down, it says uh, camera name and camera angle. I want to make sure this all both says number one for both of them. I've already entered that information. It would have been blank otherwise. And I'll do the same for the other clips. I'll click on number two. Do you see how I've entered camera angle two and uh, camera uh, name two? And I'm going to go back to this and this will be number three. All right, so we've got metadata. I'm going to close this now. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I need to synchronize all these angles. So I'm just going to select all three angles. I'm going to go File, New Multicam Clip. And notice right up here it says Use Audio for Synchronization. So I'm going to call this Multicam Edit. It's going to actually synchronize all three camera angles based on their waveform. So that's a tip. If you're recording in the field, never record zero audio on any of the cameras. You need audio. Even if using the camera mic, which we did for two of the cameras, uh, it'll work fine. It'll sync it up. And it really will work. This is what it's called, created now, a multicam clip. And you know what? This is the multicam clip because it's got this little box on it. Notice as I scrub through this, as I skim through this rather, it's only showing me one video angle. I want to see all three angles, so I have to change my viewer setup. So I want you to come over here, see where it says fit, and then there's a number, then there's a thing that looks like a lock and another triangle. Hit that little triangle and scroll down to where it says show angle viewer. Shift option 7 is the shortcut. And you're going to see as soon as I do that, there are my three angles. They're all embedded in that one multicam clip. If you only see two angles and you shot more than two cameras, you want to come up to settings and choose the appropriate angles that will accommodate all your cameras. Now, I need to choose which of the three cameras I want to take the master audio from. We're going to use only one camera audio and cut picture to that. So you follow me? One camera has good audio. The other two had trashy audio used only for sync. And I want to make sure the only audio we hear as we cut is camera one. So I'm going to select camera one, come up here, and you see these three little buttons here? I'm going to select only the green guy. And that, well, selected here, I hit the green guy here. That means the audio will come from here. Now we're ready to switch video, so I'm going to switch to the film strip, the little video. And when we start editing, it'll only start cutting picture. Now I'm going to take the multicam, I'm going to drag it into my project, and simply start. Uh, your your program and then watch guys just click right up here right in the interface and you see how I can move between the cameras or I could use the numbers on the keyboard and it doesn't matter you know I'm, I'm watching these trying to get it right but you're gonna see how easy it is to edit these later uh, using Final Cut Pro it's amazing so I'm just cutting between them And you see me cutting like this, right like that. All right, I'm going to stop it right now just to show you that I've done, if you come down to the timeline, the project, I've cut about half of it. And you're going to say, Aaron, but what about the rest of it? Do I have to do it all at once? No, watch. I'll just snap, press play, and then I'll just pick it up from there. And I can just pick it up from anywhere. Isn't that amazing? So you can do a little segment at a time. If you have an hour show, you don't have to freak out and have three cups of coffee and go, i got to go for an hour and get it perfect. You do not have to get it perfect on the first try either. Okay? So I'm going to show you how to edit these right now, how to change the angles in the timeline. 
All right, so we're inside. Uh, we've just done the cuts using the, it's right up in here, selecting one, two, and three. But let's cut to an image. And let's say right here, let's take a look. Let's say I don't want that shot. I want camera angle two. Right now I'm on camera angle one. To change any camera angle, guys and ladies, it's so easy. Click on the angle you don't like. Hold down the control key, control key on your keyboard. That's like a right click on a mouse. Right click or control click. Active video angle. That's what I'm looking for. And you see it's showing me all the angles. If I had four cameras, it would count to four. It's on angle three now. I'd rather choose angle two. And watch, I'll choose angle two, and it automatically changes. You see up here, it's now on angle two. Isn't that amazing? And I can keep going through it. Let's say this is the wrong angle here. A click, right click, control click, active video angle. Let's say I want track one where I'm looking at the camera, camera angle one rather, and it switched to camera angle one. Isn't this incredible, guys? Editing right the timeline by control clicking and changing whatever angle you want to change it to. It's that easy, folks. Now, let's say, Aaron, you want to edit within it. Well, you can just select between the clips, click hold, and you can actually roll between the clips and make some minute adjustment, uh, to make minute adjustments or even big adjustments. It won't let you ripple for those familiar with ripple. It'll change the audio. Uh, rather, it won't create holes, but it'll change the sync. This will not affect your sync. One shot into another, and all that master audio is coming from what we chose at the beginning. You remember? Channel 1. And then you'd export this out simply like you would before. You can also add connected clips on top to illustrate with PowerPoint or images. It's that easy. So that's Multicam in a nutshell. Let me go over it one more time. You got three clips or more. You select each clip. You go over to the inspector. Make sure under info you give it a camera name. Select all three. File, new multicam clip. Once you select that, it will create a separate multicam clip with all the angles. If you don't see the angles, make sure you come up over here and show angle viewer. If you only see a couple of your camera angles and not all of them, over here, choose more angles. Drag the clip in, start cutting by clicking up in here. Well, first you want to choose your audio. Remember, don't forget that. Choose what's your audio source, then switch to this video, then start cutting, and then fixing by control clicking, changing the active video angle, or rolling inside the edit. Okay, have fun. Enjoy the multicam. I'm loving it.